sex determination. In human being, males are heterogametic, which means having two different chromosomes, X and Y. Females are homogametic. They are having two similar chromosomes, X and X. Both females and males have 44 autosomes or body cell chromosomes, that is, the only two pairs and two sex chromosomes or heterosomes, one pair. These are SRY gene on a Y chromosome that determines a person's sex and determines the formation of testes. In the development of embryo, there is urogenital ridge that can be developed to by potential gonad and hence develops either testis or ovary depending on the presence or absence of SRY gene on Y chromosome. When the SRY gene is activated, the bipotential gonad develops to testis and hence the embryo becomes male. If the SRY gene is absent or inactivate, the genes on the X chromosome and genes on autosome chromosomes cause the bipotential gonad to develop into ovary and hence the embryo becomes female. As we discussed before, males have two different sex chromosomes, X and Y. Females have two similar sex chromosomes, X and X. Through meiotic cell division or gametogenesis, males can produce sperm cells that contain X chromosome and Y chromosome. The same is true in females. Females also through gametogenesis produce egg cells that contain X and X chromosome. If X chromosome containing sperm cell gets fused or fertilize an ovum that contain X chromosome. The offspring could be girl that contain XX chromosome. If Y chromosome containing sperm cell fertilize X chromosome containing egg cells, the offspring could be a boy that contain XY chromosome. Karyotype of human male and female. Karyotype means the photograph of all chromosomes in a cell arranged in homologous pair in males and females. You can see photographs of males 23 homologous pairs arrangement on the left side. And you can also see the photographs of females 23 homologous pairs arrangement on the right side. There are many chromosomal mutations that can cause abnormal sex chromosomes in an organism. This includes non-disjunction of sex chromosomes. Non-disjunction of sex chromosomes are the causes for abnormal number of sex chromosomes during meiosis when the sex chromosomes do not segregate to produce gametes. Since it is the presence or absence of the SRY gene that determines sex individuals with only one X chromosome and no Y chromosome is written as X or X0, what we call Turner syndrome. This individual is a sterile female and slightly shows masculinized features. Similarly, individuals with two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome, that is XXY, what we call clean filter syndrome, develops into a sterile male and shows feminized features. You can see from the figure how chromosomal non-distinction can happen. Suppose if female sex chromosomes XX do not segregate properly during meiosis due to incapability of spindle fiber 
to pull apart. The gametes could be X, the gametes could be that contain both XX chromosome and the other gamete or XL that has no sex chromosome. Of course, it has autosomal or body cell chromosomes, but we can suppose male sex chromosomes segregate properly and produce X and Y chromosome containing gametes. When these gametes fuse randomly, they produce offspring that have abnormal chromosomes like X0, which has 45 number of chromosomes, XX, X, that has 47 number of chromosomes, XXY, 47 chromosome number, and Y0, that has 45 chromosome number. But this is inviable or not grow to embryo. There are other systems of sex determination. For example, in birds, females are heterogametic that contain ZW chromosome and 76 number of chromosomes. Males are homogametic with ZZ and 76 in number. In grasshopper, males contain one X chromosome and 21 in number. Females contain X, X chromosome and 22 in number. In some alligators, sexes of the individual is determined by temperature at which the egg is incubated. If eggs are incubated at 31.6 degrees Celsius, the individuals are males. And if eggs are incubated at extremely high or extremely low temperature, the individuals become female. In some snails, they start out male and then become female. In tropical clawfish, the dominant individuals in a group become female and the others become male. In blue rasses fish, the dominant individuals in a group become male and the others become female. In fly, females have 32 chromosomes and males have 16 chromosomes. In some species, there is no sex determination system, what we call hermaphrodites. For example, some snails are examples that have both sexes. From the above data, we can conclude that sexes of organisms can be determined by types of chromosomes, number of chromosomes, temperature of the environment, domination of individuals within the group and age. Even though there are organisms that do not have sex determination, 